My name is um, Ariola Ganeyu Olatu Kosun. I was born about um, 49, 49 years ago. And um, I had my primary education and secondary education in Ibadan. Mm -hmm. My first degree was in zoology from the University of Paracourt, and that was in 1984. In 1986, I had my second degree in uh, molecular pastology from UI, and my third degree also from UI in immunology. Uh, I started work as an academic staff in um, 1990 from lab tech, and that was in the uh, commercial. Lab tech means Laduke Akintola University of Technology. That is in Mumashore. After which I moved to uh, UI uh, in, 19, um, in 1998 as a lecturer. And um, not too long ago, in 2007, I was promoted a professor. Well, I'm married with um, three children. I, I worked in two labs. One, uh, the lab of uh, uh, Professor Fumi Olapade, and the second lab is uh, the lab of uh, Professor Catherine Nagla. In the lab of uh, Professor Olapade, I learned about um, fish, and um, I also learned about um, Western plotting, and also about DNA methylation. And all these were linked to breast cancer. But um, in the lab of um, Ketun Nagla, I learned about the interaction of helmets with um, oral vaccines. And um, I hope all this learning and training will be put into my use um, during my arrival. Well, um, basically it has a link with my interest. As I've said earlier, um, I have my first degree in zoology, second degree in cellular pathology, and my third degree in immunology. All the projects are linked with my training. And um, also, I think the training we benefit the whole human race in terms of training and in terms of um, health because um, we cannot do without being vaccinated and um, we have many factors that affect vaccination I mean why vaccines don't work effectively so there must be the reasons why they don't work well and there will be attempts you know, to, um, to treat or to remove these reasons why they are not working well and that is why I'm here. Also the issue of cancer. Cancer is, um, is getting to be on the increase nowadays, uh, probably due to lifestyle and there is need to understand the mechanism of cancer itself so as to find a way to either reduce or to treat those that are already with it. That's what I'm here. Um, well, uh, do, I say this? do I say it's like this? Uh, I wake up early so as to get to work early too. You know, I get to lab little by 8.30 every day in the lab. I ask them what they are doing now or what they are planning to do so as to plan towards joining them. Then uh, after the lab work, um, I go home of course to eat and to continue my reading. And um, also I have access to internet at home so I check for meals, I watch uh, football. <laughs> Then uh, what else do I do? I watch Nigerian movies 
and I reached Nigerian newspapers. After which I rest for the day. Of course, one must have to eat. You know, I eat and I rest for the day to prepare for the following day's trip. Most rewarding aspect is um, the part of training in the lab. I have learned what I only read in textbooks. I have learned about them here. I have used my hands on them. And um, again, uh, there is this aspect of um, training called hyper, and also the area of uh, animal training. You know, um, I know about them before, but not as much as I have learned about them. So apart from the real lab work that I have learned about, I have also learned about taking care of information from taking care of information of a patient and also how to take care and handle animal experiments I mean more properly than I used to be. Well um, the advice that I will give um, is that one they should come here to learn more not to think about the financial gain involved. Though there is little or less or plenty of gains, but um, it's better to look to leave the financial gain by the side and think about what you will learn here. Apart from that, um, they should also learn to trans transfer or to transmit what they have, they have, they have learned here to their colleagues at home. Yeah, I will say, as I said earlier, I will integrate some of the learnings here with my, I mean, with the courses I teach in Nigeria, like this area of um, animal care and um, handling, that will, be, that will be added to the course I teach, and also the aspect of uh, inflammation, microbiomes, and uh, micronutrients will be added to a course I teach in Nigeria also. Apart from that, um, I will design some projects which will be done by my students, both doing MSc and those doing PhD, so that they can also gain from my experience, apart from the teaching in terms of the, the laboratory experience.